Mountain Ranch Golf Course Community Plan Amendment Initiation. Uh, before we begin staff report, just to give speakers time to adjust if they need, because of the number of speakers, we would typically allow one minute each because of the number. I'm going to allow two minutes instead of the normal three. So keep that in mind for both your group presentations uh, and your individual speakers. Uh, you'll have two minutes. So staff, if you could go ahead. Uh, good morning, commissioners. My name is Michael Prince, senior planner with the planning department. The item before you today is a request to initiate an amendment to the Carmel Mountain Ranch Community Plan. The request is to initiate an amendment to the Carmel Mountain Ranch Community Plan to redesignate the site from private recreation golf course to low medium density residential, medium density residential, park and open space land uses. The 167 acre subject site as seen in this aerial image is generally bounded by Carmel Mountain Road and Twin Peaks Road on the north, Ted Williams Parkway on the south, Interstate 15 on the west, and the city of Poway on the east. The proposed amendment site is currently vacant and is the location of the former Carmel Mountain Ranch golf course. The site is primarily surrounded by a mixture of single family and multifamily residential uses developed to frame the golf course. The site has a land use designation of private recreation golf course and the site's underlying zone is AR11. A majority of the site is adjacent to land designated for low medium density residential use. The northeastern portion of the site is located in proximity to commercial uses, including the Carmel Mountain Plaza, and is adjacent to a public park, elementary school, library, and fire station. The southwestern portion of the site is adjacent to the Carmel Mountain Ranch Recreation Center and Community Park, as well as the neighborhood commercial center near Rancho Carmel Drive and Ted Williams Parkway. The southernmost portion of the site is within a transit priority area less than one half mile from the Sabre Springs Penisquitos Transit Station, which provides bus rapid transit service along the I-15 corridor. In addition to transit service provided at the transit station, local bus service is provided along Carmel Mountain Road as shown in this image. The site is interspersed throughout the planning area and the former golf course was built by the developer for Carmel Mountain Ranch. The course opened in 1986 and closed in 2018. The following slides are, show current conditions of the site since the golf course's closure. This is a view of former hole number nine. This is a view of former hole number eight taken from the street. This is a view of uh, former hole 18. And finally, this is a view of former hole number seven. Staff believes the request meets the three initiation criteria contained in the general plan. Consistent with the goals and policies of the general plan, the proposed amendment would increase the city's supply of land designated for residential use and provide a variety of housing types and levels of affordability. The applicant has stated their intention to provide affordable housing units on site, consistent with housing element goals and policies. Additionally, the Carmel Mountain Ranch Community Plan housing element has a central objective to accommodate a variety of residential options through a diversity of project types and economic appeal. A portion of the former golf course is located along Chikorita Creek and the community plan identified that the golf course had been designated, or excuse me, de designed to reinforce the preservation and enhancement of the creek ecology. The proposed amendment would allow for further preservation of the creek in a park or open space setting with an opportunity to expand open space and parkland within the community. The initiation of the proposed amendment would provide the opportunity to comprehensively analyze and assess the impacts of the site with the potential to provide additional community benefits. These benefits could include additional public park space, additional public open space, including the potential to further reinforce preservation and enhancement of the creek along the western edge of Carmel Mountain Ranch. All necessary public services appear to be available. If the plan amendment is initiated, any analysis of public services and facilities would be conducted with the review of the amendment. On page five of the staff report, nine issues had, have been identified that require evaluation. If initiated, these issues, as well as others that may be identified, 
will be analyzed and evaluated through the community plan amendment review process. These include the appropriate land use designations, residential densities, and zoning for the site, the appropriate size and boundary for the amendment site, site design considerations, the appropriate mix and siting of active and passive uses, the provision of amenities, public spaces, and pedestrian, pedestrian scale elements, multimodal connectivity to adjacent uses as well as the transit station, climate action plan consistency and sustainable development features, noise attenuation measures for residential uses near I-15, and the provision of additional benefit to the community. Any additions or modifications from the Planning Commission would be incorporated into this list. On July 10th, 2019, the Carmel Mountain Ranch Community Planning Group voted 901 to oppose the initiation. Although staff believes that the proposed amendment meets the necessary criteria for initiation, staff has not fully reviewed the applicant's proposal. Therefore, by initiating this community plan amendment, neither the staff nor the Planning Commission is committed to recommend in favor or denial of the proposed amendment. Staff's recommendation today is to approve the initiation of amendment to the Carmel Mountain Ranch Community Plan. And that concludes staff's presentation. Thank you. Are there any clarification questions? C Commissioner Austin. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just curious. Um, since this is an initiation, when would, when would we look at any alternatives um, if the initiation were to be passed today? Any alternatives? Um, so uh, the, the initiation today would allow for you know a range of different options if there are uh, issues that you want to be analyzed through the uh, through the formal amendment process. But once the project is actually submitted for uh, uh, submitted to the Development Services Department and goes through uh, the review process and the community outreach process, any alternatives would be addressed at uh, a formal planning commission hearing. Thank you. Are there any other clarification questions? Okay, then we will open it up to